everyone, welcome back to my latest sales video showing you what's going out in the post today. Um, it's been a pretty shocking week for sales, uh, but it seems to be happening still across the board with a lot of people. Um, so I'm not panicking. Um, we have just spent the time tweaking prices and tweaking titles and really just sort of reviewing what we've got for sale and if there's any movement in price and um, yeah, just kind of updating everything that's in our inventory and um, rather than adding new stock uh, because if there's no one out there to buy it at the moment, then maybe it's possibly a waste of time. So we're just spending the time concentrating on um, existing listings and some stuff has sold through, just trying to clear out old stock, um, clear out bad buys and get some money back in the pot. So yeah, um, Amazon on the other hand is doing really, really well. Um, but we don't really discuss Amazon in these videos. Um, but yeah, we've got inventory arriving in there all the time and um, sales are great on there. So uh, if you haven't watched this before, I'm Faye and together with my husband, Simon, we are full-time resellers selling on eBay and Amazon. We dabble in Depop and Vinted, but they don't really, um, they don't deserve too much time because the sales aren't great. Um, the buyers tend to be on eBay and Amazon, whereas just they seem to be on eBay at the moment. Um, is it the same for you? Are you really quiet? Let us know. Uh, we've spoken to quite a few people that are quiet. Um, so we do know that a lot of people are sort of experiencing the same sort of quietness, but it's all part and parcel of selling online. Um, we source most of our stock from the auction and charity shops because uh, that's the way we enjoy sourcing. We don't kind of... Um, Although it is about earning a living and paying bills, we want to enjoy what we do, hence why we um, quit our sort of nine to five jobs four years ago this month. Um, so we like to source in ways that we enjoy sourcing. Um, we're gonna do some videos soon. Uh, we're gonna do one kind of um, a bit more about me and Simon and how we got into reselling. So if you'd uh, be interested in that, let us know. Um, sort of our kind of um, experience and what made us take this path um, and also we're going to do one about sort of um, our experiences of well sourcing at the auctions and um, how it's kind of um, impacted our reselling kind of life and also like we buy stuff from the auction and keep for ourselves so if you'd be interested to know about how we get on with that let us know as well uh, so I'm going to start uh, we have 16 things going out that's how bad it is. Um, but they're still 16 things, and it's 16 things that we're glad to see the back of. Um, it was their time, and we're getting money back. So all is good. You did that. Right. First things first is Lassie. Uh, this Melbourne England Collie Dog ornament made from ceramic uh, that's 22 centimetres long cost £3.6p last August. Uh, it was hanging around a bit too long for us. Um, is Lassie a boy or a girl? I don't know. But Lassie needs to go off and rescue someone. Um, so it was it's time to leave us. So we put it on a 30% off um, promotion and it's going out the door for £9 and 9p. See you later, Lassie. It was nice. Uh, next up is a recent pickup. Bowden Vest Plus Size UK22 um, scoop neck top. Pay £3.99 this month, took it off for a 15. I'm all for taking offers if I can, if there's decent money in it, if it's a, if it's a recent um, listing or if it's an old one, just to get it gone. Um, because I just, we, we don't like storing items. We want to make room for like quarter four stuff. I can't believe I'm talking about quarter four. Are we in, what quarter are we in now? Oh my God, it's quarter three next week. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, another one that was a recent pickup that was a bad buy. Um, I don't know enough about Topshop, so I shouldn't have picked it up unless it was maybe a collaboration. Um, this is just Topshop Boutique, faux leather midi skirt, size 10. Why I picked it up, I don't know, because I don't pick up size 10. Anyway, it cost £3.95 in April, and I just took an offer of £6 because someone wanted it, and it's off to America. See you later, alligator. A pair of socks that have been hanging around a long time. These were from an auction um, bundle back in September. 
they're personalized socks so it's say andrew on them so obviously there's a bit of a niche there um i did have someone message me near father's day saying can i have three charlie three pairs of charlie on two with andrew one with robert and one with dave or something i was like no i've already got these so these ones cost 99p um again we put these on a 30 percent off promotion hoping that all the andrews out there um would see the offer and buy them and these ones sold for £4.19 great sale uh we had one of these in our last sales video uh so this actually sold on amazon merchant fulfilled um we weren't able to send it in fba because amazon said we couldn't uh, Simon did tell me the reason to tell you, I can't remember. Um, anyway, um, it was a couple of quid and it sold for £20 and 24p. But we sold other Downton Abbey's FBA, um, so there's just a few that they're funny with. Okay, uh, a winter scarf, because obviously everyone needs a winter scarf right now. It's here. Super soft knit scarf. Uh, brand new without tags, cost one ninety three in November from an auction bundle, and I took them off for four pound fifty because there's not really a lot of business in uh, winter scarves at the moment, and I'd like to see the back of all the scarves before the winter. Next up, top, sold some gloves, two pairs of gloves actually, very similar, just a bit mixed up, um, but these ones are. 661 um, comp slice gloves um, in chartreuse, uh, large black yellow. They're bike gloves, so I think, they, yeah, they must just be normal cycling. No idea. Uh, £1.93 in November in a big glove pickup um, from the auction, and these sell for £8. We hardly have any gloves left, which is amazing. Next up, some more winter jewels knitwear jumper extra large uh, sweater with snowflakes on it, lamb's wool. Uh, cost three pound in April, and I took an offer of fourteen pound fifty because it takes up a lot of room. Glad to see the back of this one. Uh, Seventh Kevin pamper hamper felt cube nine face masks and one hair mask and one body puff. Uh, it's in a big beauty bundle. It actually cost seven pound five p because well. There was stuff in that bundle that I wanted that uh, had a high cost price. Um, but this hung around for quite a long time, so we put it on a 30% off promotion. Um, it says we have had it since February, but it feels like longer. Uh, and I just, it went at 909. Goodbye, mate. Cherish Teddy, these are one of the old ones, the ones that I bought in bulk last May for 40p each. A lot of them were broken. I've more than made my money back, so I'm not bitter anymore about it. Um, but I just took an offer of £3.92 on that one. I'm not even taking it out. It's a teddy bear at computer. Um, friendship is more than a nine to five. Um, next up are these icebreaker um, men's briefs. The Merino Body Fit Anatomica briefs in double XL, one, one pair in each box. Uh, they're all seasons, brand new with tags. Um, I put them on a multi buy, so the listing was for um, one pair of pants. But if you bought, I think we only had these two anyway, but if you bought both, you uh, could save 20%. So these cost £1.76 and sold for £25.18. So goodbye a goodbye and goodbye farewell uh, got them in march from the auction um, next is this um wedding planner rachel ellen wedding collection hardback planner journal uh paid one pound 50 in april put it on a 30 percent off promotion and it went for 10 pound 49 that was from the charity shop uh, as was this, a Castelli cycling jersey, uh, extra large, um, Triestina three quarter zip short sleeve with three pockets on the back. I put this in a recent haul video because we only picked it up this month. I got it from, I think I got it when we went out on our big epic haul um, where we've done two haul videos for that uh, full, days of source, full, full day of sourcing. 
Paid £6.50 in this month and it sold for £32.72 on offer. Oh, I think he's right. And some more fluorescent gloves. These are Hippora thermal gloves. Flirt, apparently. I don't know what the flirt refers to. Um, oh, maybe it was supposed to say fluoro, and I've put a spelling error of flirt. Oops, flirt. Um, medium yellow, brand new about tags. Cost three twenty five in January, and uh, it's a good offer of five pound fifty five. Oh, flirt gloves. Cool. Um, next up is some more Yardley London Gentleman Legacy Eau de Parfume, uh, £3.99 in April and uh, sold for £10.46. And we've only got two bottles left, so we've done really well on those. Um, so that's good. Uh, do you remember the minifigures Simon picked up on us or took a risk with them? He picked up a £10 bag, a £5 bag and a £4 bag and didn't know what half of them were. And I sorted out, sorted them all out and tried to figure it out myself. And we sold quite a few now. We've like made up, more than made our money back. We've done really, really well out of it. Um, but another one sold. So these are Super Zing's minifigure bundle. Uh, there's 54 minifigures with some repeats in there, which I've mentioned. Um, this bundle cost 67p after I broke it all down. And uh, this sold for £12. So really, really good risk that he took there. And finally, we have this Victoria's Secret tie front uh, vest, sort of negligee, um, this sort of satin strappy. It cost a pound in May. It was in an auction bundle and um, I took an offer of £12. I did cross this over to Depop. The only interest I had over there was quite was immediate, but it was someone wanting to take the transaction away from Depop and just like, I don't know how they wanted to pay, but it was dodgy and Depop pick up on it straight away because the next time I logged in, or when I logged in to view the message, it said, do not take the transaction away from the Depop platform. So I just told them no to do one and didn't hear from them again. So it sold on eBay, so I will delist it or I have delisted it from Depop. Um, so that is good. So that is everything going out today. Um, won't take long to bundle all that up and get it ready for the post office. Um, we are popping out later, gonna have a look um, at some sourcing opportunities and we're going to buy a new bed because we need a new bed. Um, so we're going to a bed shop, yay. Um, I hope you all have a great day, whatever you're doing, whether it be listing, sourcing, having a day off, putting your feet up um, or whatever. Um, let us know how sales are for you. If they're slow um, and but they've picked up, what did you do to improve them? Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe um, so you can keep abreast of our videos. Um, thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.